Now let's take a look at Dunwich Horror different Ancient One cards. For the start we will have a look at the Mythos cards. As you can see, these are two Mythos cards. Both in both uh, a new gate is open at the location from Dunwich Wizards Hill. But this is a white rectangle and this is a red rectangle. Red rectangle means that this is a, a gate break or I forgot how it's a seal break. Something of uh, that kind. A seal break. That means that even if this location is sealed, you have to remove the elder sign and open a gate there. Open a gate, take a monster, put a monster into the gate location. But ancient great old one does not receive a new doom token and this is not treated as a monster surge. Also, every monster in the sky, regardless of its symbol, must move. And my favorite part from this card is that you receive two, not one, but two clue tokens. One of them is put into a stable location, so you wouldn't lose that clue token. Even if this gate is opened as an usual gate, you st still receive two clue tokens. Even if this isn't a, a seal break. Now let's take a look at the Dunwich Horror board. This is how it looks. We have seen the Wizard's Hill. It is located here. That's the Wizard Hill. As in, uh, as in case with uh, the Arkham Horror game board, we have other worlds, in our case that is two, another time in Los Carcosa, and also we have locations with some special uh, effects. For example, Devil's Hopyard. Strange deal. Instead of having an encounter here, you may spend five toughness worth of monster trophies or one gate trophy to gain one clue token and two dollars. It's somehow uh, river docks and uh, science building uh, combinated in one. Also, if you take a look you will see the vortexes. One, two, three. So you will have a question. What are those four? And what uh, are those? Dunwich Horror Track. Dunwich Horror Track. And we do have three Dunwich Horror Track tokens. Now, each time a monster goes to these vortexes, a new Dunwich Horror Track, it's put a new Dunwich Horror Market, it's put on a Dunwich Horror Track. When there are three three on it, they are all removed and a Dunwich Horror appears. It appears at the Sentinel Hill. It appears at the Sentinel Hill. And as you can see, it is green. It is spawn because of uh, the red drop here. Spawn means that uh, it appears uh, with uh, specific conditions. And his movement is that that uh, when the moon symbol moves, you have to roll a die. And if die roll result in a 4, 5 or 6, you add a doom token to the Dunwich Horn. And also, you can see there are 5 bloods of drop, 5 toughness, and there are no uh, specific... Uh, uh, no specific modificators, modificators or damage, neither for sanity nor for stamina. For that, we have done which horror cards. They are shuffled at the start of the game. There are seven in total, and they represent the different types of monster that done which horror can became. So, 
let's take a look at one of them. Let's take the one from middle. So, if you choose to battle Dunwich Horror and you draw this card, the Dunwich Horror will have magical immunity. He will still have five uh, worth of toughness. He will have minus two combat modifier and minus three horror modifier. If you fail the horror check, you lose to sanity. If you fail the combat check, you lose five sanity. So practically, if you lose both horror and sanity check, your uh, your sanity it's reduced to zero because no uh, no investigators have more than uh, seven sanity. Of course, you can have some. You can add some exceptions. You can uh, get a higher value of sanity by choosing an ally that uh, create that gives you plus one to maximum sanity, or you can have a golden trumpet, for example, that uh, allow you to lose less sanity. And also, in each of the Dunwich Horror cards. Regardless of what you draw, the win condition is the same. If you pass the combat check, you may search the alley, common item, spell, skill or unique item deck and take any one card of your choice. That means any card, absolutely any card. From alley, common, spell, skill or unique items deck. After you defeat it, the monster it's returns to somewhere and until there are a new free done which horror track tokens in the at this track this monster wouldn't appear. But it is quite easy for him to appear because Dunwich uh, Dunwich board have no contribution at the master limit. Uh, the master limit of number of investigators plus three in the town is applied only to Arkham. It is not applied to the. It is not applied uh, to the village of Dunwich. So you can have a lot of monsters driveling across the city in order to get to the vortexes and help the Dunwich Horror to appear. Also in Dunwich Horror you have a new four gate tokens. Two for each of the other worlds. Two for another time. One, two, and two for lost Carcosia. As you can see, in both cases, the symbols are different for the same world. One and two. Also, Dunwich Horror expansion adds new location cards, both for uh, for Dunwich Horror neighborhoods. One, two, three, and both four Arkham Horror locations. In the base game you have only seven cards to draw from. In the Dunwich Horror you will have to draw from fourteen cards, not seven. So that means that you have the biggest the bigger chance to receive another encounter and uh, that is all that I wanted to say about the Dunwich Horror board and Dunwich Horror mechanics <laughs>